and I am gonna make an exact copy in the future too to give away in a giveaway when I reach a thousand followers on Instagram. a new episode, a new vlog episode. I actually sold my own copy of the Corey Taylor mask, which I showed in the previous videos. So I had to do a new one for myself, from my own collection. And I thought I'm gonna experiment a little bit with new colors and stuff like that. So in the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the new uh, mask. And I am gonna make an exact copy in the future too, to give away in a giveaway when I reach a thousand followers on Instagram. Here you have a picture. You can find more of them on my Instagram, of course. Link is in the description. I thought it would be fun to do some venting now. Usually I do gaming and stuff like that, and I vent like hell there, but since I kinda don't do that anymore, you know, very rarely from now on, I thought, why not do it here? You know, and maybe some of the creative peeps out there can uh, relate to this. It is a couple of questions or comments which a creative person gets of a person who still haven't found their passions in life yet, to say it nicely. <laughs> No, okay. Uh, these are just a couple. Let's see if you guys can relate to. The first one is, no, you're not special. Oh, this is not a question, it's more of a comment. It is like a very weird comment to give someone, because if you have the mindset of wanting to be special all the time, uh, I don't know if you feel good. The entire faking an image stuff is for people who haven't found themselves yet. I couldn't care less what you think about me. I am who I am, and the things I do I don't do because I want you to think I'm old. Uh, I because I want you to think I'm crazy. You know that was cool when you're fucking sixteen, or you know stuff like that. I, I, I get so tired of this. It's like they stand there and look at you and they feel like they're and they really feel that they're right too, and and they say it with such confidence and then you just have to shut them down and and then they're like all offended and and you hurt their feelings. If you have like a low self-esteem or you know something is up you haven't found yourself yet if you're a creative person you do the stuff you do because you love it you know you do it for you it's the dopamine you know you see your first project you see your last project you see how much you have grown you know and that feeling by itself you know that's worth a lot of course you show it to people you know like damn look what i made you know you're proud and stuff like that but it's definitely not only to feel special it's ridiculous with a mindset like that I really hope that you find your passion in life, I really do. Because hating on people is not gonna make you special, you know, or gonna make you feel special. If you're in a good place and you give a person a compliment, that happiness lasts way longer than trying to tear a person down. If you're in a bad place, you have low self-esteem, I don't know, something is up, and you feel like you have to degrade people to feel happy. You know, uh, that happiness lasts way shorter than actually feeling good and making another person happy. That happiness lasts long because you can make that person's day and you can see it in the person's eyes that you made their day. And that feels magical. When are you going to grow up? I have no idea when I'm going to grow up. But uh, apparently, uh, if I'm creative and I spend a lot of time on doing what I love, I am childish. Now, I don't know how that works, but in my book, uh, growing up has to do with, you know, expanding your knowledge, evolving as a person. Uh, just do what you want to do. What is growing up when you think about it? Is growing up following the pattern they learn you in school? You get a wife, you get some kids, a nice car, a nice house. You work, you work, you work, you work until you have pension. And then, you know, uh, then you take your pension and uh, yeah. You, you enjoy your last couple of years. You just have to listen close to your mind and your body because I always think my gut and all that stuff, you know, it, it tells me if I'm making the right choices. You know, of course, I don't always make the right choices and stuff goes to hell sometimes, but you learn from it. That's life. If you want to have kids and all of that stuff, it's okay. I don't care. If you think working is cool, you go home, you sit in front of the TV, with your phone, watching Facebook. Okay, that's nice. But don't punish people who are creative because that's fucking ridiculous. Don't you have a life? This is the nicest one, I think. What is having a life, in your opinion? Is it like the last time, having a family, a wife, kid, and all of that stuff? Is, is that having a life? And like I said, I have nothing against having a family and stuff like that. And a year from now, I can have that too. I would love to have a partner who fits me perfectly and to live with her and all of that stuff. 
do you have a life? Because they are creative instead of TV time and stuff like that. It's ridiculous to me and it sometimes shows a lot of jealousy to me. You can see it in the eyes. For a creative person, creativity is life. It's not so strange. When I come home from work, you know, at work, you know, to get through the day, I think a lot about what I'm gonna do at home. You know, the, the, the stuff I'm gonna make, the sculpt I'm gonna do, you know. And when I come home, I enjoy it, you know. I put music in, take myself a beer, sculpt, you know, I fucking enjoy the hell out of that. You know, that for me is life. This, this is the last one. This one's actually really fun. It's like, oh, I don't know anybody who does that around here. What if I start doing it? Or someone else? And then they say it in a way that I'm like supposed to like feel offended by it or feel sad because I can't feel special. No, it doesn't work like that. I encourage people to do masks or draw or whatever. I would really love to see the entire town or the entire fucking world do it. Because creativity triggers a lot of dopamine and I think, you know, Dopamine makes a person happy and you don't have to use anything, you don't have to drink alcohol, you know, to, to get that stuff. And it's for free. You get a lot of dopamine, like I said in the beginning, when you see the progress you made, that is such a kick. I swear to God, that feeling is unbelievable. So no, I would not care if my neighbor would start doing it or <laughs> 10 people in this town and it would get better than me or all, you know, stuff like that. I don't care. All I care about is that people try it, you know, try to be creative. You will end up in a very good place. And creativity can be all kinds of stuff. You know, I'm a mask maker, so I base it on making masks, but it can be drawing, it can be uh, fixing up a car, it can be cutting hair, it can be all kinds of stuff, tattooing. Just go for it, whatever you want to do, go for it. But don't sit on the sofa and be pissed off at people who are actually doing it, you know? Go for it, make masks, do it, I don't care. Some competition would be nice, you know, that encourages me to get better. Because I'm a little bit competitive and there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> so I guess if somebody would start here and really would start a company, you know, uh, I would want to be better, of course. Do it, do it. What that was that part, I thought I had to vent a bit. And I think I did it in a non-toxic way, for the first time ever. So if you are a person who still is searching for passions and stuff like that, or is interested in it, I hope I triggered it. I sparked the flame inside of you to start searching it, you know? It's, or maybe just start making masks. Maybe it is your thing, you never know. And if you took an offense and, and you're just pissed off at me right now, I hope you wake up at some point. So I'm actually planning to start uh, some kind of workshop, you know, do that stuff together. Uh, but I have to talk with a buddy of mine, see if I can make it possible. I can't open up too much about that yet because I have like a specific group of people I want to focus on. I'm all about helping people nowadays. Back in the days, it was all about shocking and always taking a step too far to see how people react. Like, I think I grew up because I'm not really interested anymore. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> the Kevin Shretnap stuff is pretty toxic. But even that is changing, so yeah. You know. Now, that was my Q&A, kind of. <laughs> oh my god. Now it's time to look at the close-ups of the mask. Hope you like the colors. I used different colors. I actually used the string and the forehead this time too. So I'm usually not a big fan of that, but it actually looked pretty cool this time, honestly. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a bit different, but I just needed to do it, you know. That's enough for this episode. Soon we're gonna have some close-ups, like I said. Like, share, subscribe, and all of the good stuff. And uh, see you next time.